Good morning, welcome to my tea station. I just refilled my honey this morning. I am drinking oolong, which I need to add more water to this. This is more of a sipping situation when I wanna have lots of tea just over like an hour. It's a tea moment this morning because I'm doing some planning. I use my teapot, loose leaf teas, and my tea cup. This is because I will you know, pour a little so it doesn't get cold really fast. I pour a little, add a little honey. It works out. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my tea station. I have been doing like a little spring refresh in my apartment that we will continue today. But my tea station is now all set. And I've done some other decor in the kitchen. So let me show it to you. I am now out of oolong. So I need to get some from Just Add Honey. I forgot to say good morning. I just took off my... Log sock to say good morning. All right, so let's look at the full tea station. So I wanted to keep things simple and easy, but I just wanted decor. I wanted it to be decor. So I have this neon pothos that I actually usually keep up here. And then when I close the blinds, I put it back right there. Just so it gets the most amount of sunlight possible. Then we have my um, tea maker here, my uh, hot water. <laughs> maker if you haven't seen my quiz and art tea kettle i just got a new one i'll link it but i love it because it has a different um tea settings so i don't have to like if i do if you don't have this and you boil water and you make green tea you have to let the water cool for a couple minutes before you add the tea because you'll burn it but with this it comes just to the right temperature like i just did oolong and um uh, that way i don't ever have to worry about burning my tea and having like the the flavor go off then, like I said, this teacup is for when I am using either one of my um, steepers that have lots of water so that I can enjoy the tea little by little. That is usually what I use in, in the morning first thing, my tea maker, just for like a cup of tea, up to 12 ounces, first thing in the morning. Right now, I've been using um, Harney & Sons Earl Grey during the week, and so that's why this is up here. These are just like my most used teas. I got this actually from my sister, but I'll link it. I went shopping at her house <laughs> because that's what I do. Look, you can't be a rich auntie if you don't keep your money. So this little marble top and just this gold bottom, it was just so beautiful and she said I could use it. And so I got this and I also got this black cutting board from her, but I know this came from Target. So I'll link both of these, but I feel like they add like just the right touch um, with all the colors, it's it's very neutral, so I love it. These cookbooks were already up here. I love these cookbooks. This is Jubilee uh, by Tony Tipton, Mar Tipton Martin. I often use her recipes. My brother-in-law actually got this um, from the store while in the pandemic, and I just kept it because it has some interesting recipes. Um, but I'm sure you could find it anywhere because Forks Over Knives is a very popular blog situation. Um, between Harlem and Heaven. I know this is going to fall the way I'm doing this. Um, and then In Pursuit of Flavor by Anna Lewis. I've showed you guys that before. She has some delicious, like, classic ways of cooking food. All black authors. Um, matcha. It is matcha time again. Yes. Um, so I have that. This is my bamboo whisk for matcha. My cups for matcha my teaspoon for any tea. Um, usually you do a teaspoon per cup of water with loose leaf tea. And then my beehive, which I just absolutely just refilled, thought I was filming, wasn't. <laughs> it's cute, but it's also functional. And I just put, like, I go to the store and just buy raw honey. Like, that's what I do. And um, I just, I decided not to display these. It's a lot of color, it's, no. My teas stay in the drawer, except the ones that I am using on the daily, which these two are currently it. And I'm really, I'm happy with this. Okay, so a few other decor items, really quick. So y'all recognize this bowl, Black Artisan. I moved it right here and I've been keeping water, uh, fruit in it. I ate all the fruit this week, so it was bananas. <laughs> but when I go shopping later today, I will add more fruit back. Um, oh, a dud, let me show you guys. So remember, in my decor haul, I showed 
this from West Elm, which I need to clean this. The bottle itself is fine. I actually really love the bottle, but the oil, like the silver oil thing came off. So I've got to reattach it right here. I'm really annoyed by that. I got to get some super glue. Still love my salt cellar. This thing is amazing. Wonderful. And I use this one to cook. This came from Target and I just love it. It like just, it adds a little something with my um, utensil holder here. Black Artisan, I'll link her as well. But this is just a little cute thing. Adds a little decor right by the stove. And then these were already here, but I just moved them. This one came from Williams-Sonoma. Yeah, I had such a hard time finding like a tall, good glass, to, um, what do you call this, canister with a wood top. But I found it from Williams-Sonoma, not cheap, but buy it once, right? That was my heat. And then my mom actually bought me this from Home Goods. I have no idea where it's from. I'll try to find something similar. I don't know the brand. Um, and I need to, I need to get the top off. That is like a task I need to do. But it's just those little things and it, it made my kitchen just look so more like homey. Love it, little decor. Let me know if you guys want the or kitchen organization tour. I am finally finishing <laughs> my spice drawer, um, adding spices. But let me know if you guys want a kitchen organization tour and I'll do that in the next episode. All right, I got that much tea because it's time to start my monthly planning. So I'm gonna start with my power sheets and I start this a couple weeks before the end of the month. So um, let's look at the month and I'll show you what I mean. So this is the month, right? All the days in the month. And instead of starting this right before the end of the month on the 26th, I don't know if you can actually see this, but Instead of starting this right before the end of the month on the 26th, I start this on the 19th. So the week before, the weekend before the end. So that I still have several days to try to accomplish anything that's on my list. Um, so I'm going to open it up to April. And you will notice that April begins with a quarterly refresh. So that is what I'm going to do today. This quarterly refresh and I will also look at my tending list, which is in my actual uh, golden coil planner, and look to see what I still can accomplish this month. Um, and then next month I'll make, I mean next weekend, sorry. I'll make a new tending list, but right now I'm just gonna do these pages, which I cannot seem to flip through for you guys. I'm also going to work in my budget planner I touch this every weekend, but because I am ahead financially in the month, I tend to start working on the next month midway through. So again, I'm gonna open to this calendar and start adding my bills to it and paydays to it. Like I'm gonna go into my budget trackers um, on these pages and add my expenses for the last couple of days um, as well. So I'm gonna do that. And then lastly, I'm gonna go into my catch-all planner here and I'm gonna meal plan for the week, uh, do my weekly review as well. And let's talk once I do my weekly review. So I actually do this page and then I go back and um, add the scores later. Uh, that was my phone. But I will say that I'm actually doing better than I thought I was at these categories. Like I've actually improved from the beginning of the year in most of them. So that's good. One thing I really realized doing this is that I need to define self-care again in this season of my life when I am very, very busy. I didn't give myself a score on self-care at the beginning of the year. That's interesting. Um, and so I just need to do that for myself. I'm gonna do that for myself this week, define self-care and kind of make some actual like actionable things that I can do each month 
to take care of myself when I am just so busy and I'm just bogged down, but I've got to get all this stuff done. So there's no way to like spend more time on this stuff, right? Instead, I got to figure out and choose where self-care fits in. Like, what is it going to be? Is it going to be 30 minutes a day of reading, right? Is that what it's going to be? Is, is fitness every day going to count as my self-care? Am I going to be trying to do a couple things a day or is it just going to be one thing a day, right? Because I'm so busy. And then at the end of the week, what am I doing to recharge? That I have to figure out again. I'm holding up this book because I just got some books. I'll sh okay, I'll share. So this is the book we're reading in book club this month. Um, I intentionally waited to read it um, until this next week because we have it at the end of the week. And I find that I'm reading the books <laughs> right away and then we're like not remembering something. So I decided to read it the week we're going to discuss it. And then for the Patreon, first book about sex and sexuality and women's health we're going to read is come as you are i'll link both of these below but i'm going to read this and um discuss it in april yeah i'm going to read these two but anyways gonna continue this prep work that was a revelation for me um definitely in q2 i'm going to focus more on self-care because i'm not going to get less busy like this is my life moving forward and I really am starting to think about the next five years and my next five year plan. Um, just kind of haphazardly, not purposefully. I don't want to be dwelling on that. I got to finish this one this year. But um, yeah, I want to kind of think about how I'm going to take care of myself as I move forward, even though I'm not going to get less busy. Polish is always good too. Ooh, I like this one. What's this? A turquoise and Caicos. A mint green. I haven't tried this brand before. How much is it? That's a big claim. $10 actually isn't bad. Is it worth a try? Maybe I'll give it a go. This is like a puke green though. <laughs> Let's compare it to the other green. Like a puke green. Mm. I'm not feeling it. All right, which one? I'm kind of loving this one. Like I like this one too. Hmm. We'll see. All right, guys. I'm at my sister's house, but I did make a few stops along the way. So as you guys saw, uh, from Ulta. I got some nail polish and precisely my brow. This is just a refill or re-up. I literally just ran out of my other one yesterday. Um, I got number six cool brown this time. It's not focusing, it's okay. 
And then I was supposed to get one nail polish, but I couldn't decide. I didn't get that pukey one because it looked like puke. Um, but I got two greens for spring. This one, OPI, uh, the past is always greener. The past is always greener. I want to use like later in spring. It's like nice and bright, right? But still like that pastel -y green. And then this one, this is the SE Tupero Tur Turquoise, Turquoise and Caicos. This reminds me of the old Mint Candy Apple when it was more green colored. Um, so I'm definitely going to wear this. Um, it's definitely more green colored than the blue one that they changed it to years ago. So yeah, I got these two. And then I went to Nordstrom and picked up some Joe Malone. When I was in New Orleans, I went to Saks with my cousin. If you missed that vlog, check it out. And the sales associate there, SAA there, um, showed us a lot of combinations of Joe Malone perfumes. And if you guys remember, I have the dossier version of the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And she showed me this combo that I really, really like. It smelled like money, basically. <laughs> and so I am buying it now and as part of the Sephora sale. So this right here, she told me to get the cream of this. And so I, this is huge actually. My sister has a cream, but I don't. This cream, this is the Blackberry Bay body cream from Jo Malone and I'll use this under the Dossier Woody Sage. And then on top, I will get that fragrance as part of the Sephora VIB sale coming up in like a week or two. So this is just the beginning of that, this. Then I'll put the Dossier Woody Sage on top until I get that because I really, just that combo of the Blackberry Bay and the Woody Sage. So good, speaking of Dossier. So if you haven't been around, I have a partnership with Dossier. And Dossier is a brand where you can buy perfumes that are inspired by the popular perfumes, just the really classic popular perfumes, and just try them out for a lot cheaper. And so there is a deal that I do keep in my dis um, description box below. But now they even have a new payment method that lets you earn credit. So just um, select catch at the last step of checkout and you earn a $10 sign on bonus credit. So that's pretty cool. So this one is inspired by Victor and Rolf um, Flower Balm. It's called Gourmand White Flowers. And I got it just because many of you really often tell me to try this. So I'm gonna spray it. Oh wow, that actually smells great. Hold on, hold on, y'all might be onto something. There's a reason why this is popular. Oh, that's really nice. This is really familiar. <laughs> I smell this on a lot of women. Okay. Oh, wow. I would actually wear this. This is really nice. Top notes are bergamot, green tea, freesia, and berries. That makes sense. One of my favorite perfumes has green tea. Or matcha. Hmm. Okay. I'm really loving this. It has ver vanilla, caramel. Yeah, that one's a good one. And then the second one is another classic. Um, even more classic. Um, it is inspired by Dior, J'adore Eau de Parfum. Everybody knows that one. And it is called Fruity Jasmine. But this is really, really cool. I can try this one. Also, just so you know, you can get a 10% store credit on every order. So that whole thing I just talked about, um, every order you get a 10% store credit. And the top notes of this one are Mandarin, Green Leaves, and Sweet Pea. And the base notes are sandalwood, plum, and musk. Okay, <laughs> this is your classic, but it's, it's, it's got a soapy smell. Not too powdery. Not my favorite, I'm gonna give it away. I get why people like it. It's a clean scent, but it's still, it's still more floral than I love. I love a bit of musk. So I'm gonna give this one away to a family member that I know wants it, but I'm gonna actually wear the um, Victor and Rolf one today. But I'm gonna wear the Gourmand White um, flowers for the rest of the day because I'm, I'm actually really thinking I'm gonna like this one. And I'm trying, um, I'm gonna put it on my wrist here and then on my elbow on this side and just see how it wears on me for the rest of the day because actually I really enjoyed that one. So that's everything I have. Now I'm gonna scoop up the nephew and head back to my place. <laughs> the urge to jump in. I don't, know, man. I don't even, like, 
In the can or in the entrance? In the in the entrance, like just. Okay, I'll take that. I'm like, I don't know why you want to get in the can. Or <laughs> the trash can behind. Me. Yeah, yeah. I get that. You can't go dumpster diving. <laughs> I, I don't know the specifics about why, I'm sure it has everything to do with capitalism, but I don't know. I thought it was like only dumpsters and private property. Mm -mm. I honestly think, well, according to CSI, I don't know if this is true, but like if your, your trash can goes on the road, then it's like a personal trash can, yeah. then anyone could go in it. Um, I, I scooped up the nephew and the condition to him helping me is Popeyes, so we're at Popeyes. The money ate with me over, man. It was the Popeyes. Right, it wasn't the payment. It wasn't the money. It was the Popeyes. But you know what? I ain't mad because I ain't had Popeyes in a hot minute, so. I don't I, know. I ate today. I'm just very hungry. Oh. I've been really bad today. I have not eaten. But why? I don't know. I just kept going to thing to thing. I don't know. You can't be starving yourself into here. You're right, you're right. <laughs> All right, so you can. Pick that up and put it over by the window because we're going to put it outside. Or like, actually right there by that chair. Oh yeah. Just don't knock down the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Please do not fall. You're right about that. I just got sneaked by this lamp of light. Okay. That's not right. Yes it is. It literally works. I don't understand. Like, Blame mom. She's clumsy. I'm clumsy. Okay, so last night the nephew came over and he helped me with my patio. He's going to be back in two weeks to help me with repotting plants. But he brought this rug from my sister's place. She bought this for her office and didn't end up liking it. And I wanted to take the rug that was in here and put it outside on the patio. And so I was able to get this from her. I, you know, I wanted to buy it from her because this is an expensive rug, but look at like what it does for the space. It makes it look bigger. It brightens the space so much. This is what I needed for just the spring and refreshing this space and like just giving it that little bit of oomph to me. This rug just does that. And putting the rug on the patio actually makes the patio look a lot better. So this room is now officially done and next month i'm gonna work on the living room hopefully finally i can get my couch when i get that couch i'll tell you the story of the couch i've been waiting over a year for the couch so i had to get a new salad to container to go and i was able to get one from target i was looking for one with a glass top and a glass bottom but it ended up being just a glass bottom and a plastic top um, the one I had before was from a brand that doesn't sell them anymore. They only sell water bottles now. So that sucks. But this is what I put my salads in because they're nice and deep. So let's look at the salad. So this is the chopped salad kit I have today. This is from Publix, but you can also get it at Kroger, typically Walmart too. And I also, to make it more bulky, usually buy a bag of lettuce so this is romaine um it just depends on where i am sometimes i'll bust just buy like green leaf lettuce or like whatever so so this is gonna be the base for romaine and then because i want it to be like a, a hearty meal i typically add a bit of grain i have some leftover cooked rice so i'm just gonna add half of this as well sometimes it's quinoa just whatever I have on hand, I made a stuffed pepper, so I had some extra rice because I make it in the rice cooker. So that's probably half a portion of rice. And then I'm gonna actually do half of this salad kit. Um, it's supposed to be three and a half servings, but I just do half and half. That's, I don't even care about the calories, it's just getting enough food. So <laughs> I'm going to open this and I will, 
put the salad dressing in my lunchbox. I don't use half the salad dressing, you know. But salad kits usually have all the fixings. Like this one has nuts and seeds and poppy seed dressing. So I can fed half of this bag. So about down here. And then half, half of this. Like I said, this will go in my lunchbox. And then I'm gonna add chicken to. Boom, that's my salad, easy peasy. <laughs> I've got some various types of greens, like I have cabbage and like all kinds of greens. I've got a grain in here. I've got some dried fruit, some seeds and some protein and it was really easy. <laughs> so this is going to go in my lunchbox with the dressing. The salad, the lettuce, I will put my lettuce saver or my veggie saver here. That way it remains fresh. This helps my um, greens to remain fresh for days. So that's all I need. Put this back in the fridge. And there we go. FedEx just dropped off a package. Something else off of my capsule list. Let's look. I'm about to paint my nails, so that's what's up there. Super excited. I saw these, they went on sale. And I was like, oh, got them perfect for spring. Again, shoes, because this is where I am. I told you guys, like, I mostly need accessories at this point. But I got shoes from Shoots again, Shoots again, because I really like the shoes I bought. So let's put the camera lower so you can see them. Welcome to my Target socks. I wear around the shoes around the house, slippers. All right, so these are my shirts. And this is a big capsule purchase, like workhorse. I almost went with black on brand, but these were like less than $100. So I went with it. Look at this color, it's like an actual nude tone for my skin. I just have to hope they fit. Let them fit, let them fit. All right, all right, the little things are still in here. I got, I think a size eight. I usually get like eight, eight and a half. <sighs> Let's see. Ooh. We're not doing feet gram. Ooh, 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 ooh. They fit perfectly. This one is more comfortable, but this is my bigger foot. <laughs> the smaller foot, it's not as comfortable, but the shoes are still comfortable. Like I could definitely walk in these for a while. The heel height is good. I feel like this is like a four inch heel, right? I told y'all I'm not tall, so I like a tall heel height. I could wear this to work. I could wear it with jeans, <gasps> all the things. I'm wearing a skirt. <laughs> I mean a dress, but uh, these are super cute. I'll link them below, but like, yes, capsule purchase. The fact that I can even like get down like this says that they're very comfortable. Yes.
Hey y'all, I thought we'd end this here. Um, I'm, I'm gonna share some things that I changed up in my makeup technique that I think really makes a difference in being able to wear the Pat McGrath foundation as more like a natural look. Um, I learned this technique from watching an Elisa Eldridge video, uh, red carpet, it's a newer one, I'll link it. Lisa Eldridge isn't the makeup artist, but I was like, oh. So I'm just putting on my um, Laura Mercier primer. I'm gonna take a bit of this. This is the Medium Deep 26 Pat McGrath um, Sublime Perfection Foundation, skin finish. I'm gonna use probably like half a pump. And then I'm gonna take my foundation brush, my flat foundation brush. This is from Makeup Forever. I've had it for a while. And then I just take a bit of the foundation, right? Start in the middle of the, of the cheek, apply it, bring it down, right? Around, I'm trying to get a thin, thin layer. And then from the middle of the cheek, I'm going to apply it. So the middle of the cheek is gonna get the most product and everything else is gonna get a really thin layer. And it comes out looking, like I get the coverage I need, but it comes out looking so flawless. So flawless, yet natural. I love it. See that? Get away from my light here, but do you see the difference in the two sides? And I'm still getting the coverage. It's a very natural, everyday type of coverage. But I'm also getting like the pore filling and the mattifying and all that from it. So, but it still looks really, really natural, you see? No, okay, now the light's gone. From side to side, it looks really natural, but this looks more flawless. I love it. It's such a small difference, like in, in application, but it makes a huge difference in how the foundation looks and it's just made it so wearable. And then if I want to apply more, I will. But it'll just go in the areas that I think I need the more coverage, right? Now, I am going to film a video after this. But I am wearing this to work. I don't have an event or anything. So I just want it to be very, very wearable. And it just, I mean, it looks like skin. It really does now. That's that on that. I'm going to keep applying the rest of the makeup and chat with you all about my journaling today. Um, we are ending the first quarter of the year here. And by the time you see this video, I'll be back. I was out of town. But, so I wanted to get all my reflection and everything done before I came back because the week will have already started. But um, yeah, I have finished Q1 of year five of my five year plan and what I'm doing at the end of every quarter right now is really reflecting on these last five years right my five-year plan ends in december i will pick up a new five-year plan in october uh, the process of, of planning in october but i still have a few things that i really want to achieve by the end of this year to set up the next five years um, and that's just going to require me to persist. Like I can't, I can't let up because this is your five. No, your five is like the culmination of many things. And it's very pivotal, pivotal um, and important that I don't stop. That I keep going. But what I love about reflecting on these five years is that I've, I, I realize how much I've done. How much I as a person like how much I know myself better. That was like the biggest goal of this five year plan. Really getting in touch with me and what I want and the life I wanna lead and who is going to be in this life with me? You know, who's necessary? Um, and I think I really like, I am really at that point in life where I know who I am to the fullest. I have done the work. Um, I am so sure of who I am. Yes, that person will continue to evolve, but I know my morals. I know my values. 
I know what I stand for. I know what kind of work, what kind of career I want to have. I know where I want to put my energy in life, right? Who, what kind of friend I am, what kind of aunt I am, sister, daughter. I've done that work and I'm proud of me for that. I'm really proud of me for that. that that's what I wanted. That's what I appreciate from me um, more than anything else. I have this stray hair here, here. I have this eyelash. And though I still have a lot to figure out, I have a long way to go, and this is just, you know, first quarter reflection of year five. I have uh, three more quarters to go, <laughs> right? I am very happy with where I am. I'm very happy with who I am. I've done what I set out to do, and I'm still doing it. It's not over, and I'm definitely gonna do it for another five years. But, you know, I can be proud of where I am. I can, I can definitely be proud of where I am and who I am and how I show up in the world. All right, y'all, that's it. Makeup is done. I'm gonna film one video so that I can edit it and get it up, um, like, scheduled, because I need to schedule this video and the video after that, because when I get back from out of town, I'm just gonna be kind of busy and hitting the ground running. I'll list all the products and, like, anything that I can think of, I'll list in the description box below. If, not, if it's not there, if something you wanna see, just let me know and I will link it. Uh, for you and for everyone else because other people probably have that question and let me know if you like this format of Rajanti Diaries I was like let me switch it up I like doing it this way a lot of people who like my auntie stuff like particular content so uh, let me know what you think otherwise check out the rest of my Rich Auntie Diaries check out my playlist right here and check out this video right here when the other video comes out. I'm going to put it here. But until then, check out this video right here. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe before you go so we can see each other in the next one. Bye.